All right, y'all. I'm just good. It's a side of doing this live from the hot seat. And we got, you know, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Hey. All right, so we're going to get straight to it. We know you're from Houston, but where? What part of Houston are you originally from? Man, I'm, I'm a hood baby. Uh, project baby. My mom was project to project. So I'm dead and born. Southwest raised. Southwest, like, ain't you Southwest? No, no, no. Uh, but, um, like, West Airport. West Bell, Braidswood. Oh, okay. Okay, cool, cool. Not the Swats. No, yeah. no, no this to the Swats, but you know, I'm from the other side of the Bellway. Okay, so this is a little bit more down. Yeah. All right, cool. Uh, when did you start rapping? What age did you specifically start rapping? And what age did you start actually like, recording your first songs and raps? Man, I was a little kid running around the house trying to mimic Curtis Blow them, you know. And, well, I was... Started rapping, got in the studio like by 14. Okay. Yeah, like 14. I got this actually, got them, I was put in the studio, recorded. Okay, would you like sit down and write on a piece of paper, or would you just kind of just go this off the I was going, with? I was going off the top, just what they wanted me to do. What got me noticed, really, um, in the little freestyle. So they, that's what got me in there. Okay, cool. So I'm guessing you was on subscribe, right? That's kind of what you were just hear growing up. Yes, ma'am. And blues, yeah, the blues and hip hop and R and B. I agree. Yeah, because I was just about to ask you, what other type of genre do you like besides rap? Oh man, I really, uh, I like that the down home blues, like that, that just well, like jazz blues or just like nah, straight. I like all music. I like jazz too, but now my go to, like normal, is gonna be like the. Bobby Womack, uh, Johnny Taylor, Al Green, you know, Shalomar, you know, I'm a, a earth, wind, and fire, you know, I'm a dog, I got my all, I got my all, I'm all there. You know? Okay, nice, yeah. nice. I, I listen to that type of music more than graph, actually. Did your uh, people have a big influence on the type of music you were doing, or would you just kind of hear it, just being out and about? Yeah, now I'm going to say my mama, my mama was music uh, fanatic, my mama had always had music. It's a type of music, blues, all the blues, and um, when I when it used to get on my nerves, let me say that, you know, and then when she don't be playing, I be singing it, you know, around the house, because we be hearing it so much, so, yeah, my mama had to dig it for us up there. Okay, cool, and talk about family, do you have any siblings, or are you the only child? I'm not, nah, I got a brother, I got, it's just me and my brother. I got a lot of brothers who, we say brothers, you know, in the field, but, mm -hmm. Oh, it's just coming out of my mama, just me and my brother. I got an older brother, an old K9 Keith number. Okay. So, of course, you were part of SUC, sort of thing. So, I just wanted to ask, how did you get into SUC? Man, Big Demo. You know, Big Demo walking through the door. You know, um, did he just kind of like bring you around the folks, or did you just kind of? Well, he was telling school about me for some years. And um, I missed a couple of tapes, you know, like I said, I was so young. Um, me getting the schoolhouse was going to have to be me catching a ride with one of the big homies, you know, right. I was a little, a little pup. You know? How old were you? Uh, like 15, 16 years old. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. All right, so talking about SUC, share one of your favorite moments with at least just or just one of the members of SUC. Could have been from... Uh, Nothing having to do with music, could do with music too. What is something that you kind of just still think about to this day, or you like to keep about? Uh, man, something I never forget. Uh, uh, event with Big Poppy, mm -hmm. Big Mo, Big Tone, with the three of us in the room. You know, in a, uh, a hotel room, and somebody came beating on the door. There's no allowance. A few people rushed, rushed in the restroom. And people was, like trying to scramble everywhere, you know. You know, <laughs> when it, whoever the room was named with the room for, they opened the door and it was somebody else coming to kick it, right? Mm -hmm. So they're like, man, y'all come out, come out. So, hopefully, and I don't know who it was, came out the restroom and hopefully, like, and my head is spinning. <laughs> so I don't remember my thing. I'm saying, where that paint at? So I'm drunk. Oh, I thought shit. it was the police. And I 
man, I never forget that. You know, I never forget that. It's like, man, he down. He had to die in that whole bottle. When we left, I don't know, you know. But he, I just remember, like, man, my head is spinning. Yeah, my head is spinning. Like, man, what about it? What is it? What is Hey man, I talking. I thought there was a little hole at the door. Right. First thing he thought about after that situation. You know, he was thanking for the team, like he did. <laughs> let, me, let me finish this boy, you know. So I never forget that that uh, memory. That's right. Ever, yeah. ever, ever, never forget that. Right. You got another one that's just one of your names. I mean, I got so many, man. I got so many, man. I, was, I got, like you say, give me, man, I got so many stories, man. I got to tell you one of me and Big Mo. Was Big Mo somebody that you was really, really close to? Yeah, I, I, everybody, me and Mo, was, I would think I was close to Big Mo, man. That was like a real big brother. Okay. You know, me and Pope were real, uh, real close coming in the game. You know, we were real close. Pope, I was with him as a big brother. Like, he used to tell me real stuff when I'd be trying to blow my bag. And he'd come around and say that, you know, like, just, you know, I had got the deal before, you know, the first mm-hmm. one I clicked, so I, I want to get drove and get painted this one, poke in the field, you know, he come. And poke is how it's like, man, come on, let's, let's work. You know, we got it. We don't need no drove. We got it. We don't need, you don't need, you know, so. But then the one with old Mo, um, the Mo had got in the hospital, he wasn't supposed to be drinking. Um, and we were going to get a haircut. His mother was driving and his name And I got picked up. His auntie was on the passenger seat, his mama was driving. And, uh, the other girl, I don't remember anyway, so we in the back. He got a gallon of cranberry juice, right? And, uh, you know, that's what he's supposed to be doing, flushing his system and drinking. Right. And um, so I got him, when I, while we were riding, we went to uh, Tim G, Tim Green. You know, that was his little personal barber. If, if you know Mo, you know Tim G, you know what it is. You know what I'm saying? In fact, we're going to wait to TMG over there by Northdale. And, um, mm-hmm. you know, I was like, I was trying to get my own, like I say, um, man, who got some, who got some oil? You know, mm-hmm. you grab me. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I say, I say, I say, I say, he raised a cranberry juice thing. Oh, yeah, I got something here. I'm gonna say that he ain't want my he ain't want my mom to know, you know, <laughs> or his auntie to know. So, well, his people gonna kind of be like on his ass about you. Well, now we ain't here got the news that I'm sorry, mom. No, no, no. we ain't got the news that it was like a couple of years before his mild that you know, like his health was deteriorating, like he needed, to, you know, like he it, it got serious, you right. know, it, it was sick, serious. Um, only. It's close circle, people knew, you know, it wasn't spreading it wasn't out, you know, publicly out there on this close circle knew and I knew that, you know. So I'm you know, for myself, like let me, you know, he that's the boy baby kept it. So when I jumped in, I, I asked him in thinking that just a big old gallon of cranberry juice, just cranberry juice, not knowing it was, you know, a concoction. Wait, so the whole ghetto was just sure? No, 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 no. I'm gonna say majority of it. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna say majority of it. If you know Mo, Mo don't drink no eights or paint, but like there's gonna be always 19, 20, there's gonna be some crazy numbers. If you, if you don't know, you will believe it. Yeah, 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 you will believe it. If you don't know, you think somebody just, I'm just saying it sounds cool, or he just saying it sounds cool. No, sure. Yeah, so um, I, uh, he made a cow for me something. He said, what you gonna get? I told him, I'm gonna get you, I go, I go, I get some too, so I'm gonna just get a such thing. Mm-hmm. I said, what you got some? Yeah, you know? yeah. Like, yeah, I, I just get it later. That's why we, you know, can't have you drink it by yourself. <laughs> 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 I said, man. Yeah, you got it, bro. <laughs> All right, cool. Well, thank you for sharing that. Um, earlier, within the first story, you had told me how y'all thought it was a policy. Would y'all get busted a lot with the police? Or was it just not really such a big problem with y'all? No, it wasn't a big problem, man. It was, uh, everybody was on their own, own accord back then as far as the block where I was naked, who was where we were from. So, mm-hmm. you know, yeah, it was a lot of, but it wasn't like stereotyping people, mostly really, every street people, you know, street, young street, and the street. You know, so that's what it was. Okay, cool, cool. So, 
you being a rapper yourself, who are your all time favorite rappers? It could be all rappers. You can talk about new rappers too. Tupac. Okay. DMX. Um, actually, on Spice One, I got two. Spice, salute big up. Spice One, um, I had an older brother, so you know, a lot of this music that I wasn't supposed to listen to, I was listening to it. Ice Cube, you know, NWA. A lot of people Yeah, I did. Uh, yeah. Uh, Gangsta Lip, you know, we had uh, down here the SPC, you know, South Park Coalition, Gangsta Lip, uh, Clint Night Cat, you know, about, you know, uh, K Reno, Point Blank, all that, you know, that was. That was some of my era of uh, love that I got in my team. I'm gonna say that. Yeah. That's probably it. That's probably it. Probably it. Okay. Um, what is your opinion on Houston right now? Compared to how it used to be back in the day? It was my SUC. Man, my opinion on Houston rap was. Do you kind of listen to like? Do you kind of listen to like the rappers now that come out from Houston? No, nah, I don't. No, no, no. Nah, nah, I just want that. I done been through so much. Like I can't, I can't get too jiggy with that fly stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like the turn up music. Yeah, I mean, I with the turn up music in the club or something, but I really want to hear some pain or some truth. As long as I know you really walk that road, I can listen to anything, you know what I'm saying? As long as I know he really talked about something he, you know, he did or doing, or, you know. But honestly, you no know, hating, you know, salute to all us city rappers, but I don't get on too much. Like, most be trying to ride away, you know, or sound like, you know, I don't get on too much used to rap. I don't. I got some people, I got some people, artists. Out of Houston that I listen to, you know, but like when I'm riding or moving around, yeah, I don't got too many, you know, Houston rappers in my playlist. Right. Have you ever tried to help anybody else on the big company? Yes, I sure have. Yes. Yeah, I came in the game friendly. Okay. So I live, yeah, I came in the game home for a good dude, you know, I try to help everybody. Yeah. You know, everybody in the clique, screwed up clique, swats a house, like, from the little Mario's, I reached out to everybody, you know what I'm saying? I'm like a six little kid, you know, with a bag bigger than everybody that I was helping out, but I'm just, you know, trying to everybody on my projects, messing with everybody, you know, doing everything that I, I think a big homie or a real G is gonna do, you know. Definitely. I ain't getting none of that return though. Right. Oh, really? Nah, I ain't getting none of that return. But now I try to move. I, I was a ladder to every to most Houston rappers, especially when you say, uh, you know, like Southside. Yeah. yeah. You know, yeah, I was, yeah. Would you say a lot of people around you were kind of asking, or would you just kind of just put yourself in there and just try to help out just a little bit? Yeah, and nobody never, yeah, nobody never asked. Honestly, I do this, I do this with my heart because I want to see people shine like I was shining. Right. You know what I'm saying? I want to see them get some show money like I'm getting paid. Like I would yeah. get paid. I want to still rock diamonds and all that ride candy like I was doing, you know. So yeah. I was just I don't want to be the oil ball, you know. We go do something. I'm the only one this and that. So I would just I get them. I, hey, you need to get, get you on something. I'll get you. Like, I, Will people ever take offense to that? Like you trying to help them out? Now, actually, now everybody uh, sitting that I they come to my table get a plate. They ate up. You know, they wasn't no. Yeah. Over here now, they got fat, you know, got fat as they can, and they bag away from the table, and there no more food. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. And you was just kind of like, you just kind of took that for what it was? Man, actually, like, I'm sorry, mama. Um, man, I was trying to, okay, I had fumbled my bag for his rap, you know, and I was so busy by myself, so I wasn't paying attention to nobody or what nothing but expecting nothing. I just was worried about trying to get me right and humble. All these people that I got depending on me and you know, I'm just worried about myself. I wasn't paying attention to nobody moving me to what they doing or waiting on nobody until like 15 maybe years, 10, 15 years ago. I just, when I seen everything, how all the impact and everything, 
all these baby steps I've been taking to get to where I am now. I was like, man, everybody rich started. Everybody dropped albums and projects and none of these called me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh, wow. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh, okay. Maybe they were. I don't know, it still puzzles me, you know, like, they had to say, I'm really... trying to think to yourself, like, yeah, we wasn't as close as I thought we were, so what you just yeah. like, yeah, I just didn't, like... Well, we wasn't as close, we wasn't as close as we was, because now when I'm from my block, now when I've got no street money together, we ain't never put no shit, nothing, half the stuff in my, so people know, you know, me for us, so, no, I just done it, because I feel you rapping, and you not doing nothing, you understand still, you, 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 you I ain't gonna say bombing, but you're looking like a regular person. You know, you ain't looking like you should be on the stage with me. Yeah. You know, or you should be with me on the stage. So yeah, I just try to turn them up. You know, like like I, I treat people how I want to be treated. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like you just try to uh, take people to their potential. That's kind of what you're saying. Yeah. Well, I'm like this here. I ain't gonna if we rock it. If we rock it, and I know you took a loss, or you coming to be doing business, and I know. That your something that you're doing is not normal. You I ain't gonna you ain't gonna have to ask me to hey do something with you. Uh hey you know my inventory or whatever, the store I ain't making all this. Man, I'm gonna help fill your store, you know what I'm saying, without asking, I know the numbers you do. Mm -hmm. I know what type of person, so I ain't even have to ask me, hey, when we go out or something, or how much you got, or hey, I already know I'm gonna make sure no attention on you, I got it. I already know you ain't you ain't doing the same thing, you know, so yeah. Well, if I don't see that same, that same thing, then you can really let me know we ain't the same. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm not going to do that. I ain't going to, I ain't going to have nobody around me messed up. And then I see something decline or something change with them. And I don't, hey, you good, bro? You, you know, you want to get me later or you want to, you know, yeah. put you, and then I put something on it, you just, you know. So, I, if I am, I ain't going to ask somebody for that. You know, I just see. I should have, would have, man, I bet he would have, man, man, I got an ex, he ain't really cool, I got an ex, I yeah, know if he was a white person, mm -hmm. he wouldn't have to ask me. Yeah, because he would just do it off the string, like man, I would do it off the string, because yeah. we rocking, you know, we, we rocking, we rocking, right. you know what I'm saying, it ain't no competition with me. Yeah, it's not no would you think a lot of people would try to kind of be competitive with you? Yes, hell yeah, yeah. god damn right. Yeah, that's crazy. I see now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yes, I didn't know that, you know. I ain't know it was like a, like I said back in one of my songs, Bowling for Position, you know. Mm -hmm. I ain't know it was in my team and in my circle and other cats that I was trying to help make the real, you know. You know, I, I would have never thought that. I just, I mean, I can put it like this. I'm so much of a self and worry about what I got and my, my responsibility and needs to, I wouldn't expect. I would. I, I ain't gonna be like we rocking. I ain't gonna be worried about. I wonder if he wanted. Now I'm, you know it's a different ball game, and I wonder if he'll do this or I wonder if he thinking. I don't think I used to worry about man. And I learned this. I was wrong, but hey, with the learning plan, my biggest thing I used to be uh, was I want to prove people to show them that man, this these diamonds, these flashy cars, this money that that you get, man, I ain't. It don't make me man. You ain't gotta have no money, you can be dirty, you ain't gotta be nothing. As long as you got a horse, you gonna squabble, you can ride with yeah. me. You know what I'm saying? You ain't gotta be no knockout or man, as long as you gonna get out there with me, man, you can ride with me. You ain't gotta have no none of these material stuff I got, none of that candy cars, no diamonds here, all that stuff. You ain't gotta have none of that like I got. Just when it go down, you there. You my dog. Right. Yeah, that's what I am. Yeah, yeah they, they, it's a different ball game. They, yeah. they, they ain't like Do you feel like a lot of the times they was just trying to do it for the image instead of doing it for because they actually loved making music? Man, it could, it could have been that. Yeah, it could have been that, you know, but. Man, I didn't I, you know. Man, I didn't got people. I'm still bringing money to people try to let me say that, you know what I'm saying? I'm still putting, bringing money to for shows, wise, features, you know, uh, instead of bringing their name up when nobody know who they was, and I'm getting paid. Hey, I got somebody, I got somebody, hey, he, 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 you know, like, um, man, I don't know, I just, I don't be trying to figure it out no more. I just worry about me, you yeah. know, my mind is set, you know, so. 
it is what it is. You ain't try to help me eat. You ain't try to help my career. Help me get back to this person I am. Or get me, you know. And y'all all driving your phones and your nice this that and other. You know things that I was doing back in the day. Like man, I feel like you ain't you don't, you're not for me. Right. You know you ain't for it's me. It's better not to have me wrong too. Yeah, yeah. You, yeah, you ain't for me, man. You ain't for me. Basically, you just running part of me too. Basically. Because I want to make you the same for you. That's good, though. You know, you know your worth. I call them rapper, rapper, rappers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I call them rappers. That's what we call them where I'm from. You know, we got, we got trapper rappers, mm-hmm. we got real ones, and we got rapper rappers. You know what right. I'm saying? The ones that they rap good, but they ain't did none of that they talk about, or I ain't bought none of that. Yeah, yeah. them rapper rappers. So, you know, I, I got this whole person that I am now, and everything I drop is really. Exposing them type of people, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? So, Are you able to tell if somebody real about what they rap just from hearing their music? Yeah, no, yeah, I can hear, yeah. I can hear what you talk about in your content, and I can tell really like the pain you've been through, what you've been through in your life, yeah, yeah. But a lot of people like they they, they, they gonna rap what they see, or they gonna tell somebody else's mm-hmm. story. Right. You know what I'm saying? They're going to tell your story, you know? So it's hard, man. It's hard. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, it's really true. Has anybody ever, um, have, like, you know, gave advice or anybody to you that you just being a great friend or a great colleague, you could say, being in the rap game? Yeah. Like, has yeah. anybody ever told you, like, yo, thank you for doing such and such for me? Besides all these people that, you know, never, like, it's crazy. Like, uh, like basically give me your flowers. And zero when I came home, you know when I came home, but I don't know how many had uh, when he just the rapper like, you know, he first person picked me up. So you got Instagram, I give me a phone, put me show me by Instagram, put look. And he told me, you know, riding the boost was doing some at Roxy's. Mm-hmm. And he told me, say, man, um, man, you the only one had faith in me, nobody else did. So, now you really you gotta be my first uh the first getting paid for something, you know, that a freestyle yeah. king, you know. The people were trying to ain't no me, they weren't trying to hear you, you know. I say, hey, come on, you know what it is. Watch this, bro, watch this though. You know, yeah, you just have to put it in their face, yeah, like man, every time they call me or they, you know, uh call me, put their camera in my face and call you. Mm. But you ask, that's what's up. Yeah. You know, Pokey, you know, uh, Pokey always used to have sentimental conversations. Like before he passed, you know, where it's like, it's jumping from the seven years before that, we had done something with like, like, an open event, like a trail ride again. Mm-hmm. And he was telling me, uh, like, bro, you know, uh, when it comes to June 27th, if it ain't by me, you or Big Mo, should nobody be speaking on this. Right. It ain't Big Mo dead. So, you know. Now, basically, I feel just how you feel, you know. And then, like I said before, he's always like, I always want to show my people that I respect and love that, man, don't think because I got this big bag, I'm, you know, I want to, hey, I'm going to get us an option though. I'm going to get us a but bro, so that I mean, we change, yeah. man. So, you know, like, hey, you know, I'm giving the real. Uh, okay, we know we always, you know, salute, you know, and let me know, you know, my birth, you know, give me a reminder. Um, yeah. And not too many, man, to say that, not too many, you know, but. There's some people you still in touch with from back in the day? Yeah, yeah. Definitely. Yeah, for sure, for sure. They yeah. just didn't touch me anybody almost. You know, but like that, that really don't mean nothing. You know. To me, it do, but we got each other number. We say that we ain't in touch. Okay. You know what I'm saying? They got my number, got their number, you know. But when I was uh, trying to figure it out, or uh, we say this, uh, I wouldn't vote for it. I read like about eight, nine, ten years ago. You know, I wouldn't. Everybody asked me, I just tell them, man, poo, poo pop, salute too, man, the screamer, man, you know, he always let me know what it is and give me the real, yeah. you, know, you know, 
he uh he like people run up on me, man, what's up there? What you doing? I tell him, you know, this bag, you know, street man, get this bag right then I yeah. you know, so you know, I was really focused on rap for a minute so I got myself right and say mentally, financially, everything else. I was right. I, I used to tell them every time about that. Just ain't worried about it right now. You can see about a hundred or something. And, you know, I'd tell them something like that, but yeah, rap was the last thing in my mind for a minute, you know. Like I always knew other ways, you know. I, I got noticed freestyling, but my hustle has got me put me in a circle with the wrong guys and you know. Yeah. So, you know, I already I know. Later too, the next person told me he was like fifteen, right? Yeah, yeah, I was the youngest dude, the youngest dude. Circle and not just a schoolhouse, but that's everywhere. That's how my name comes about, you know. Yeah, that's where my name comes about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was uh, Young Gun that when it started with, I used to keep me at 25 on the block. <laughs> yeah, everybody knew what it was, you know. I was gonna put it broke my little 25, but uh, so he's taught me Young Guns. Then I got a little older, and young stuff, and then I started rapping. I put a star on the young, mm-hmm. young stuff, and young stuff. Yeah. yeah, that's nice. I, I, I did not know that. I like that a lot. Um, would you consider yourself, like, whenever you go out to people and stuff like that, do you like, feel like, I'm rapping? Like, that's what I do? No. Mm-hmm. I don't. I don't. Um, man, I just, man, I, I really don't try to stand on that rap platform. See? Mm-hmm. Okay. And I ain't trying to shit on nobody, but man, I don't really get along with those type of dudes. Yes, yeah. I'm a rapper. Yeah. That's all you do. That's all you know how to do. Right. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, and I'm going to say this too, like, it kills me, these cocky dudes that just know how to rap. You don't know nothing else. If right. you lose your vocal part right now, you're going to be broke. Yeah. You'll be staying at your mama house or staying at a female house. You know what I'm saying? Like, them kind of dudes kill me. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's all you know how to do. You don't you ain't known for nothing else. Right. Nobody don't know you for nothing else. Not squabbling, no hustling, no nothing. No nothing. Only thing because you just when you picked up a microphone, that's when you got started to people yeah. know you was. I feel like a lot of those people that you're talking about, they feel like rapping is what makes them hard. Yeah, you yeah, exactly. Saying? That makes them hard, that makes them a man, that makes them like ego, that makes them copy, that gets them in yeah, the you know, the girls, but the bobbles, you know, yeah. I would say the women but the bobble, so like it kinda killed me. Like I got like I said, I was surgery, man. I got people that I like. I moved the neighborhoods, and then years later they run up. Oh man, why you ain't say nothing? What man? You, what you talking about? Hey, man, I ain't know who you was. Right. Man, why you ain't telling me you a fisher? You a real man? You a real you? Like man, I don't stand on that platform, man. I'm yeah. like you, man. You a fuck man? You take care of your business, man. You the kid, man. You the, you know. So like I, man, I was. I was him before I got picked up the microphone. You know what I'm saying? I had a, I had a name before I got my grab the microphone. You know, yeah. I ain't started rapping and they even made my name. You know, I got my name from the streets. Ain't nobody give me my, my name or like you most of these do. They start calling themselves stuff. And my name comes from the streets. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so. So at any certain time during your come up, did you, was rapping the only thing you was doing? Like, did you see that as like a job? Or was rapping just something that like, you would just kind of do on the side? Or just because he was like Rapping was something I just did on the side. Okay. Yeah, freestyle. We used to do karaoke. I'm saying, Piper. We get to karaoke. One of my uh, one of my big homies. You yeah. Know, like I say, he a grown man. He used to be an old man now. But uh, he used to uh, get the karaoke thing. And like, every, every Friday, we do freestyle. I want you to get some of your, you know, and come in and freestyle. <laughs> We used to do that. Yeah, 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 we used to do that like on the weekend, every other weekend, or when he let us in there to do it, or they don't have no company, you know, whatever. Yeah. But yeah, rapping was nothing, the rapping was just uh, something I did, have fun, you know. I was always a street baby, man, when I was in the in streets trying to get me some money. I had a daughter at 15. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I really. I, so you was just I was buying pamphlets. Yeah. When I was 16 years old, I was buying mm-hmm. pamphlets. Baby clothes. You know? Yeah. So you always just had a job, basically? Nah, I never worked in my life. Oh, really? Yeah, I never had a job. No. I had a line. I had a job back <laughs> a couple of years ago. Um, 
one of my friends got me on something for him. And man, it was cool. It was cool, but <laughs> I told my girl, I say, man, like the first week, I said, man, I can't do this no more. She like, right, you, well, you just wasn't fucking with it, or like, what was it? Man, I just wasn't used to working. But at first, I got these, <laughs> I got this uniform. I mean, this uh, like the dicky pants with the shoes and and got it. Well, I think we went a whole head or something. I don't know. It's just like the same me. I feel like. Yeah. myself up so you can do what you want to do because it ain't on me it's on somebody i got somebody else to get you in you know yeah, so well, that's actually wild I'm say, that's funny well i'm gone because <laughs> i'm gone i'm gone so you said you only got to live for a week right man week or two how long was i did thing yeah two about two weeks <laughs> yeah about two weeks okay <laughs> so yeah. talk about that so you've always just had some <laughs> ways of just making money yeah i always yeah like i say um i'm a little baby so Oh yeah, see, I had to say this too, man. I when I first remembered, I was walking through Sky Plaza, four thousand, you know, Sky Block. Mm -hmm. I was walking through Sky Plaza in my drawers. That's when I can remember. So when I say I'm dead in born, I so was raised, you know. But I, in my first elementary school, in my first the hood that I when I opened, you know, I can last first remember, you know, was Sky Plaza, you know. But then again, with that being said, like I'm. My face called good all over. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I can go I can go South Park, Sunnyside, South West, A D, you know, and get some money. Right. You know, so it was never, you know, thing to me, you know, be turning some cones, you know, and coming up and my like I say, but going and uh, go to go to sleep and wake up with more than I, you know, yeah. Know, go to sleep with more than I woke up with, let me say that. You know, that was Thank God, it's always a little blessing that I was able to do that. Go to sleep more than I woke up with. Yeah. So how would you say you kind of ended up like being in the streets? Like, would you just go out and you just kind of got the game with everything and how everything yeah. worked? Or did you have my, you say you had a brother, right? Yeah. Yeah. My brother, he, my brother, when I was 16, my brother, he had went to be 25. So it just me, my dad, he had four, five times to lose. He would say that, you know, that's years ago he's been a couple more times so it was just me and my mother in west airport and my mama i've seen her struggle to catch the bus you know just me and her and i'm like man i got a baby um, like, man, i got i got a help yeah i gotta provide i gotta help this lady you know she ain't got no car you know food stamps yeah, I don't like everything every time what she cook decide to cook, you know. It's money being made all out here I'm seeing, you know, it's so that would be like my go to the streets. Like I could just go outside and you know, and come back with me little if it ain't another ten to twenty, thirty dollars. Right. You know. Um, so going back to music. What are some of your favorite collabs that you have? I mean, my favorite collab, uh, me, D. Gotti, Lil Kesey, and Big Demo. We had some when I was like 16, 15, mm -hmm. 15 or 14. We had the thing uh, called Green Acres. Mm -hmm. You know, that's my first was, was getting in the studio. They was trying to be got it with just coming home. Yeah, I was the night that they were trying to make me the pal right, you know, and do this and do that. 
So that was one of my starting out favorite things. And then I done um then right now today, me and Cal Crocker, you know, me and Crocker got a uh, EP we working on, I ain't gonna lie to them, put them in the head lock, but that's one of my one of my uh I put that on my trophy put on the trophy stand. Uh, me and Pete, uh me and PT the underboss, we doing the collab is uh, EP that's coming out in Jan- January. Or I said the same. You know, I'm loving it. Loving the, uh, the, the, the out the outcome on it. Yeah. Um, How much older were they from being uh, 15, 16? Man, no guys. I think we got them just coming home. Uh, me both like ten years, me and Keisha was like the same age. I think Keisha might be older than about a year or something, but mm-hmm. everybody that I always sit at the table was older than me. Like except when I was with them. Oh yeah, my bad. My uh when um I had this uh, record label with uh I rather not say no name, Straight Profit. Mm-hmm. You know, I started T Y P though young players, you know, that was some uh memorable memorable member moments for me and uh um, I never forget. You know, me, Grace, Rest in Peace, Black One, um, Los, you know, uh, and Solo D, Trey D, it was, it was a few of us, Wood, um, and the crew was over there. Zero came a little uh, later after everything was falling apart, you know, where I was bagging up from it. Um, Grace, uh, yeah, that's some memorable, 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 memorable <laughs> moments I never yeah. forget, man. That thought young player album, man. That was a, a lot of uh, testosterone and egos, you know, it was pretty clash. Definitely. Yeah. Were they ever tried to, like, prime you for being young, or was it always just all good? No, because. You just being the age that you were. <laughs> now, um. Now, I used to. Now, I ain't never really got clowns for, for my age. Uh, girls sometimes, like, when they try to do a double date or put me on with their homegirl friend, they come and see the little boy. And, like, what is wrong with this little boy? Hey, man, he ain't no little boy. Show him their bankroll. Show him their bankroll. You know, shit like that, you know. But girls just make fun of you. Uh, you used to be shy, your boy. Yeah, actually. So you used to just be like, yeah, like. Right? Man, you might not believe me. Um, I'm still shy to a certain extent. Yeah. Yeah, I'm still shy. I'm gonna be honest. Um, like okay. I said, I ain't ashamed of nothing. Nothing. You know, I'm a confident person by myself. But yeah, I'm still shy. Like, uh, I actually look up my body and I see him walking down the, with that girl holding his and all kissing his foot. Like, man, I ain't do that. Yeah. How you got yeah. confidence to do this? Yeah. Like, all face to face. I love him. <laughs> <laughs> like, man, I'll be blushing and put my head down. <laughs> you know, I was, yeah. I ain't gonna lie, I was, a, I was yeah. real, real shy. I came out of the lot, but yeah, I was shy, shy, shy boy. Yeah. So, what you say? You was just shy, like, shy little boy, like, he would like, he would see that and be like, yo, like, shy I kind of want boy. that, or were you just always like, where the hell at? Like, like yeah. how would you describe yourself? It'd be like that, just what you say, like, what the hoes that, what the, what the ones that I ain't got to do all that. <laughs> I ain't got to do all that. Google got guys. Because you just didn't want to, you just didn't want to. I didn't, to. well, this is my thing. I can do it over the phone. <laughs> you know, I, I used to can do it over the phone, but, uh-huh. like, you bring it to me, and we sitting on the couch like this, I'd be like, <laughs> yeah, it's looking out, so it was like, just girls fear. I don't know. It just I don't, I don't know. I didn't understand. Have you ever? Have you always like loved and respect women? Yes, ma'am. Absolutely. Yeah. Women. Okay. Yeah, women. Yeah. Yeah, women though. Yeah, women. Yeah. Um. All right. Cool. So, what inspired you to hop onto the twenty seventh freestyle? Did you expect for it to go as big as it did? Like, how did you go about that? Um, like I say again, Big Demo, I was supposed to, he was telling school about me years and years before, like the, the year before that and the year before that, like every year, 
that was I was going to schoolhouse, but every year he'll go do a birthday tape. Every year a birthday tape. And I kept missing them because, well, I don't remember the first, but I remember this, the one the year before June 27th, like the year two years before the June 27th. It was my, uh, they was full. The, the transportation ride was full, and one of my people's ride or something, you know, so they had to come get him, and he took my spot. You know, keep in mind, I was a teenager, but I was not in the beginning of a teenage, you know, so. Yeah. Then the year before that, I don't remember. You know, I don't remember. And the next year was June 27th, so, you know, now I didn't look, I didn't think it would be epic like that, man. It was all Demo, uh, Demo, I, all his idea, all his, like, who gonna be on it. Well, a couple people was on it, they were supposed to be, you know, you know, like, you know, I got to see it, because, you know, it's real, like, bird, there was a few people weren't supposed to be on it, you know what I'm saying? They yeah. had a list, you know, like, who, me, Kofi, oh, Keith, sure. and such and such, you know, yeah. so, you know, we got schoolhouse and so many other South Side players to say that, you know, players would be like, man, let's get it. Yeah. So talking about the South Side folks. Um did you ever have a relationship with SPM? Yes, I sure did. You did? Yeah. At a young age or was it kind of more when you was a little bit older? When I was a little bit older, but eighteen, like nineteen, twenty. Yeah. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Salute to SPM, man. I don't care who don't like it. Yeah. Good news, so we never love. I can't say nothing bad about it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I got a story about the SPM too, man. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so, man. Yeah, so. you know, one, I mean, cornbreads one night. Uh, fucked up. Where's that at? 59. I'm 59. It's a spot where everybody used to hang out until the sun come up. Like a, like a, a Walmart, imagine a Walmart parking lot. Well, it was a pool house, you know, but the parking lot was humongous. And that's where everybody chilled in the parking lot. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? From me, the three two, big pokies, the, the little man, you name it. You know, everybody's got their botany, some of the botany boys, BGs, or uh, man, it was little third, or uh, man, it was a, a lot, you know, uh, rest in peace. Uh, it's beautiful, man. Big homie, big homie. Uh, Daytona D, man. Rest in peace, Daytona D, man. Everybody would say pimping, man. Step down, you know, really. You know, I'm talking about international. I ain't talking about just that, you know, uh, hustling on the side and a real pimping. This how I met Pimpin' King. But uh, rest in peace, Daytona D, Double D. That's the one uh, Future got the song. You hear, uh, which one that is? Uh, Future got a song, Big uh, Big Old. Vigo got us a lot of people got dedication songs for him, man. He was an international pimp, stumped down pimp. Yeah. You know, and uh, uh, this man trying to remember his name. I forgot what the question was asked, man. Can you repeat that? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. They told a D, man. Rest in peace, long live, man. I know you was going to tell me a story about SPM. You okay, okay. Like cornbread, yeah, yeah, cornbread. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and uh, I see a bean. I'm out there. It wasn't this for the night. It wasn't too. Uh, lit or it was, I think everybody was getting ready to leave. Mm-hmm. And um, I still beans come through the parking lot. You know, standing on the curb. Slow down, get the one down. It says PM. I say, you good? I say, yeah. I walked to the curb to the night. I said, I like to hear about the new beans. You know, it's right, we got the deal. Matter of fact, I think you got the deal, I'm not sure. Uh, brand new beans. I say, um, yeah, man, I like this. Is you? Is, what you just grabbed to? I think you had another color before it or something. I'm not sure. Uh, so I walk up to the car. And he let the run down and smell like nothing but food and that like taught uh, uh, fajita chicken. And he was eating. He had a uh, he had two cinnamon with him, two uh, one in the back and one in the front. You know, he was eating. You know, he had them like eating, eating. And I say, I mean, what's that? He say, uh, fajita chicken and something else. You want? No, he said. Chicken, chicken, or just some some chicken. I don't know. And he say, you want you want one? And I say, hell yeah. <laughs> I say, hell yeah. 
and he's like chicken or beef. Like it was a restaurant. Oh, I was man, from nine, man heads. And uh, I was like, I don't remember what I said. And he told me, he told me, he said, like he said, I think I might say, I don't remember. And he told me, he said, fix him. <clears throat> Popped up one of the Chuck Tupperwells. You know, he put it back and handed it to him. I started eating right there talking to him. So what you want to do, you know? And I'll never forget that. Matter of fact, I had, who knows what's up, because I had rolled. I was doing a picture for one of my cats from the valley. Yeah. Uh, he was writing against me. And he was out here doing some visiting. And uh, he told me, like, man, I'm writing the SPM, man. If you don't mind, you, want, you got something you want to say or put it out? He said, yeah, yeah. Chip, chip. No fear. Yeah. He said, when you going back? He like, man, I'll be out here tomorrow. Tomorrow, that tomorrow, I don't know. And I said my ass, I don't write music. I wasn't. Too much writing. I sat down and made myself stay and wrote him a piece of page and a half or two pages. And you know, I called him. Are you still out here? He's like, yeah, I'm finna get ready to go up over here. No power doing this here now. I'm talking to his sister. Woo, woo, woo. I said, man, meet up with him so I get a letter. And I thank you, wrote my letter. I don't care. Like I said, I don't got no secrets. I ain't ashamed of what I did. Yeah. Right. Like, you know, I was really on telling, telling him about the last time I seen you. I was the club parking lot, you, you know. And, I'll just say, I'm, I'm a better person. I'm changed. You're going to see when I come home, when you come home, you know. Like, I just tell Also, he, he, he didn't know you as, like, being an artist. Whenever yeah, yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. Okay. Yeah, yeah, man. And, um, the, when Uno got the letter, he called me before he made it back. He was on the road. He said, man, I just want to tell you, man, you a real nigga, man. I said, why you say that? He said, man, I just want to, man, you know, a lot of people folks to have me or do this here and they ain't rolled it, man, they ain't do man you real. I know he read my letter. You know what I'm saying? For him you know, he busted he had to read my letter because he was so sentimental with us, so he yeah. must have read her. You know, I ain't got nothing to hide. Yeah. Like, man, it's real, man, you real, man. I'm messing with you, man. That's solid, man. That's so yeah, man, it's been like nothing above for me, bro. Yeah. Real when I can't say nothing bad. Right. So, finishing up talking about SPN, how'd you meet uh, Mo Hussey? Man, I don't, man. Man, how we, oh, uh, shit, I don't know, man. What, was it a dope house? I don't remember. Man, I see. Thank you. I don't feel bad now. Well, at least, now you go. So, at least, uh, before meeting him, did you know about Mo already? I've heard them all. I've heard of them. Yeah, yeah. For sure, for sure. Yeah. Have you guys ever worked on anything like together? Or have you guys just always just been cool? No, well, we've been on our, we've been up and down our team. You know, Bowden brought food, put food on my table a few times, you know, on the yeah. road shows, you know, uh, features. Uh, now we can take everybody out. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, when he done the uh, thing with, uh, what's his name, from D12. Uh, yeah, bizarre, bizarre. He, uh, you know, had to come through there, you know, so I get some camera view and meeting, you know. So you yeah, know, I can't, I can't say nothing bad about it, man. Like, yeah. He my type of guy. I'm okay. one of the same, you know. I'm that, that's me. That's how I was, you know. Yeah. That's was. You hear me? Was. You know. That's how I was. Like. Yeah. Like. I just want to. Good people. Then back then, I ain't gonna lie. You ain't have to be good people. Just cause I'm rocking with you, like my mama and everybody tell me, man. He'll, Oh, man, he ain't gonna, I got in my heart that I'm rocking with you, I'm rocking with you. And I said, as long as you don't lie, you ain't a liar, no thief. Yeah. You're rocking. Right. I can deal with anything except for people or liar. Okay. Yeah, respect. Um, so you talked about going on tour and stuff like that. What, what or where would you say was your favorite place touring at? Like, what would you say what, like, most of the fans would like, fuck with you? My favorite, one of my favorite warden holes. Really, all up and down, I team. I'm going to go to Louisiana, all up and down, Louisiana. Okay. Uh, Mobile, Alabama. Alabama? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Mob Town, yeah, Alabama, yeah, yeah, Alabama. It's like my, it's like my second home. Oh, shit, for You live out there? You can say that. You can say that, yeah, you can say that. Like, I was out there so much. Um, How come? How come? Yeah, how come you was out there? Uh, 
So much. Statue of limitations, so. <laughs> man, it was a watering hole for, for us, you know. Like, okay. yeah, me, um, old Dre, uh, uh, and uh, then then, you know, uh, with straight profit, you know, that was one of our, one of our places that we cleaned up. If we would say that, you know, we got washed washed up, you know, so. And by me being a people person, man, you take me anywhere, man. As long as the hood, I'm gonna be good. Yeah. You know, shit, I go in the hoods. I'm just like, Tumbleville, Orange Grove, you know, all what you hear of Braden talking about his hood, like Orange Grove. Like, I, I just slept plenty of nights in the projects, you know what I'm saying? The Greek projects, you know, Roger William, you know, uh, all up and down at our team, really, like I say, man. You know, Atlanta, too. I love Atlanta. I can't, Greg Street's a little bit out. Oh, um, um, have you been to Cali? The Young Bloods, you know, Sean Powell, Spiller, yeah. all of them, man, salute, man, and show me nothing but love when I tell the time, you know, the real, I did the real ones again, like I say, you know, yeah. not to catch it, just, just rap, we just, that's all you do for the rap, you know, we, don't, we don't get yeah, it. Yeah, like long. I had genuine connections. Yeah, 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 I'm like, I hood babies, some street babies, we got some street cred, man, <laughs> put me around them, we gonna lock in. Yeah. <laughs> Lock in, man. Yeah, definitely. I already know how that shit went. Um, so you been to Cali? Mm-hmm, Have sure. you ever performed out there? No, no, I haven't. No, every time I go to Cali, so. <laughs> 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 ah, shit, yeah. Um, no, I ain't performing Cali yet, though, man. Every time I go to Cali, it's on another business trip. Okay. Yeah, we're going to some old type business trip, so yeah, yeah. yeah. I would love <laughs> to, you know, but um, it's coming, though, to uh. I, that's why I've been building my archive. Yeah. Know. Remember, I said that I'm gonna spank Kelly and all them. You know, they gonna get a load of me. Yeah. You know, but I was after I put the music on. I couldn't been performing in Kelly or uh, uh, a lot of other more places. But I was underestimate myself, and I was like, I gotta get new material. I don't wanna go out there with this old, you know what I'm saying? Just yeah, old, yeah, yeah. old material trying to rock the crowd, which I'm pretty sure I could, you know. But yeah. It's kind of like if it was like an actual concert, like you would perform the shit that you on right now, and then probably put some good on the accident. It depends yeah. on what they paying. Oh, like you, okay. Yeah, if you paying me what I want, and I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you my new stuff and my older classics. Okay. You, know, yeah. you ain't, you can't pay. Yeah. What? So you hold your classics kind of just like yeah, you're not so, just gonna. Nah, nah, yeah. nah, nah, because then thank God I could probably crawl without the glasses. Right. You know, so, yeah, I got so much new material, material that I don't got to pay them and I can, I can rock the crowd. Yeah. You know, so, yeah, I hold them to classes, sentimental to me, to my heart. Yeah. So, man, yeah, yeah, yeah they're my, like I said, they're my babies. Yeah. Would you say you still have the same type of clothes? That you have back then, so now do you feel like no. your style has changed? Just yeah, a yeah, yeah. I changed tremendously. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I changed. Yeah, man, I, I still some of them, but that's that slow flow. You know, that slow flow is like I think it's kind of it's easy for one, and I don't. You know, it's just my my. I can feel like it's it's lazy. Yeah. You know, it's not really, you're not serious. You know? Yeah. I don't know why, but I, you know. But some yeah, people. I feel like there was one for just like, you know, like getting in their zone and just freestyling. Like, yeah. I mean, I respect people with the slow flow and the people yeah. that got it, but for me, you know, I, I didn't come in the game. You know, I, I always was uh, kind of fast and, you know, I can, I do the slow flow, but when I get the feeling, I get to want to. Show my my art, you know. Yeah. You really go in and ride it all the way, switch it up, and like when I just heard uh, uh, Pun Junior, you know, I've said I can, yeah. you know, I like I like to show that my craft, you know, I like to ride the beat more than one way. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Do you have anybody that does like specific beats for you, or do you just kind of just find something you want? No, no. I like, don't. do you have people that you? Have been working with for a long amount of time. Yeah, I have. Yeah, I have some go go to uh, producers, but um, me me right now, I am shopping around. Okay, you know, yeah. For different, five different, you know, 
different feel, different feels, you know, every, some people, you know, like stuck in their ways, you know, like yeah. they all their tracks are not the same, but you know, like when you hear you can probably tell like, oh I know he that sound like something he has doing. Yeah. So I, I shop around, you know, I be shopping around, but I got some like some well, old, old Jaime, you know, who done diamonds in your face, he done the uh, swinging in the rain, done the knock picks up for our old Jaime. Salute OG, uh, uh, Sean Solo, salute OG, you know, um, Swift, you know, I got, you know, I got some that I reach in, you know, dig in and go to, you know. Um, but like for us now, what I'm doing, I be like to read a different flavor, get different flavors. I just want to lose it, you know. No, like definitely. Yeah, I gotta, gotta have some bridging on the show. So how would you describe your flow now? Man, I'm all over the board, man. Um, I'm a metaphor and punchline king. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I'm a metaphor and punchlines. In facts. <laughs> yeah, in facts. Yeah, see, that's, that's yeah. my flow is now. Um, man, one of my people, we, we real tough. Man, what we was real tough. I had to put him on punishment for a little bit, but we got so many songs. He told me one day, he like, man, spit that shit out, bro. Like, man, you a conscious rapper. You a conscious rapper now. Yeah, I am. Yeah, I do think about what I'm gonna say. I don't just say shit because it, it sounds cool. Yeah. Or, nah, bro, I got kids. Yeah, you got I, I got kids. I got people. This I've been through too much of me just because it sounds cool, right? Some cool chicken and the yeah. lowest name me or this a lot. Man, I got people now. I say you show sure right. I'm happy you said that. Remember you said it. Yeah. You said it. Yeah, I'm a country rapper. I'm you not like the rest of these rap niggas in Houston. Yeah. You know. Yeah, you saw right. I'm happy. I never thought of it. He said it like being funny. I guess to motivate me to hear them do what we're doing. Yeah. Man, you a conscious rapper. Oh, so, you know so Yeah, I say, you know what? You show right. I am a conscious. Yeah. Yeah. So. yeah. All right, cool. Uh, how would you say music has changed your perspective on life? Man, music showed me so much, man. I ain't gonna lie, man. Music helped show me real. Faith showed me people that's around me for the wrong reason. Mm-hmm. It showed me people that, like, with no money, they are nobody. When they get money, they they kings now. You know what I'm saying? It showed me uh, family, friends, like, and music have opened my eyes so much. And it, it, it humbled me. You know, I really was a humble person, but it really humbled me because people. I always look at me another type of way when they think they gonna they meet me or see me or hear me, they be thinking like a lot of people tell me, You nothing like I expected. You you cool. You not you yeah, like stay like you, you is cool. Yeah. 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 Yeah, music help man, it humbled me and taught me discipline. Um, and music has changed me so much, man, um like a lot of things say I would have went back to or probably would have experimented with us. I ain't gonna say that, but like a lot of things that I don't do or never will or thought about doing or don't socialize with or you'll never catch me in the type of crowd because of music. Yeah. And I look at it like you are somebody. Yeah. At the end of the day you're somebody. You can't be standing over there with them type, you know, you can't be riding the car with him because you know what I'm saying? You can't be, you, know, you can't be messing with, with them little, uh, little girls because they pretty and they got to sh- get some, see some ID. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, music have, definitely. yeah, music have like, in it all yeah. because in my head, I'm like, man, if anything come out of me, they gonna try to burn me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, hey, man, this girl, she bugging me, man. I gotta get some pounds. She said it, man. Like, that's a, a fool, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's a that's a foolish trait, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You stressing about doing something. So you will go spend some money and keep spending and smoking, 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 or drinking, 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 or drugging, 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 because you something not right. 
Yeah. And I ain't gonna change that. You might affect it, might make it worse. But you ain't yeah. free. You start to get content. Now you content. You get content in your problem. You know? So it look like you yeah. ain't worried about it. You know, so. I feel like a lot of people try to shoot the program and just, you know, say something else. Like, oh, this just should actually help you. You know what See, I'm saying? Definitely. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like yeah. I'm sitting in that shit a lot. Them the people like, that don't want to be around me, I'm going to tell them the truth. <laughs> Or, or I'm just going to not say nothing that you're kind of shy with her. You know? Like, you know, he did. You know, one thing I know, I tell my son, he can tell what. I mean, I tell a lot of people that, man, anybody here that, you know, they know me there, they can vouch for it, man. I just say, man, man, one drug ain't better than the next. You know? So, like, you might see a, a, a dude that can smoke. He might smoke. Or crack or fry or whatever, and I seen them maintain more than the dude that smoked in though. You know, yeah. having more money, I done seen it. You know, like I done seen it. So, and I used to try to like, okay, you know, how is it going? He's still doing this. Like at the end of the day, ain't no drug better than the next one. You know, that's, yeah. like, that's the thing I tell my son. Like before, I, I used to, before he got in the truck, I used to smoke and drink, and they say, hey, you see this, son? Uh, it's dope. It's like crack. Yeah. I don't care how cool it sounds, you hear rapping about it, man, it's a drug. Yeah, it's, it's a drug, son. It's a drug, it's, 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 a drug, it's, 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 it's still taking away from your money, my nigga. Yeah. And you don't know how it's going to do with you. Some people can manage it, and they can match with it. Some people can't. It's yeah. a drug. You know what I'm saying? I don't care how cool, how many rap, rappers you hear, you hear us talk about it, here, it's still a drug. And my son, you look like, you doing it. You know, like, I got to give you the real. Yeah. You know, it's dope though, it's in though, it's drink, but it's drugs, it's a drug. Yeah, it's a drug. And if you ain't being real with yourself, man, you tripping. Yeah. You know, you tripping. I understand some people do it with that, you know. Um, I swear I understand it. You know, I still be thinking about it when I get stretched up or something like that, I tell them, man, I'm going to smoke. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times I be seeing what reaction I'm going to get. It's really bad, I can't. I don't know. I can't eat while I'm smoking. I can't see while I'm smoking. That's true. Work, like, that's sometimes, true. I, like, that's true. Yeah, I stopped smoking like a few years ago, and I just be seeing people around me, and I just get like, yeah, bro, really I used to be like that, like, yeah, that's cool. You stopped smoking? Yeah. I mean, it's like, 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 like, if you say if you're saying it's actually going to respect you, then you can just like tell your son that and just put the people around you too, but just give me the money. Like, I respect you enough for that. Because I feel like a lot of people try to share with you and just be like, yo, like, you know, try to encourage you in a way. You know what yeah, I mean? Like, yeah, you have some, some weak minded, you have some snakes, you have some people that's really fools. They yeah. You know, they fools, they blind, you know, they, some of them ain't snake or weak minded, or they weak minded. But. And it's crazy because I feel like they always want to be like this. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's hard to get out of this. I don't know. I think I was, see, I was one of the first, like you said, I couldn't eat. Like, I couldn't um, mm-hmm. eat if I don't smoke. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm a chronic smoker, you know? Yeah. And I wouldn't have no appetite. I look up. The only way I know I eat, I hit my stomach drop. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Uh, it's almost sun going down. I'm like, oh, my, oh, baby, I'm like, what you eat today? I ain't eat nothing. Yeah. Like, think about it. Like, man, let's get right. now I'm home. You know, but, so yeah, that's, that's crazy, man. It's the same. The same shit happens to me, too. I remember, like, how it's been years since that's what my mom's school. And, shit, I was young, had no type of weed out there. And I realized I could not eat nothing. Because I was just so used to just... You know, it's how, you know, it's how chemically imbalanced. Yeah. Shit, that's what it felt like. Yeah, <laughs> like, that shit was not how chemically imbalanced. Man, you talk to somebody that's being loud, man. Like, you hear everything I, I ain't talking about drug wise. You know, I ain't never, you know, I'm trying, I done tried all kinds of ways to come up. You know, I done tried all kinds of ways to stop smoking. You know, like, like I said, I did it all, mama. All kinds of ways to, to get back to the six figure without ever touching the microphone. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's how I know how to, well, for me, marijuana, you know, drink, you know, I ain't that this But I ain't tried to, you know, yeah. you know I'm not hurt, but it's, it's, it's a, it's like, it's 
hard to say, man. It's just like, I don't know, man. I don't know. But no, the, back to the chemical imbalance. You know, <laughs> that's when, when you, the reason why you don't have an appetite because your body is, you know, your brain is telling you, uh, you know, smoke, or you ain't smoking. Mm-hmm. You know, it's just what it is. Yeah. See, um, that's why when you stop for me, like most, like some years back, I stopped smoking and I got bigger. Mm-hmm. People were like, man, but bro, it'd be opposite when you smoke, you get bigger. I say, man, I ain't gonna lie. No, that's, that's true. I eat three times a day, sometimes yeah. go, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and that's normal, that's your body from the mm-hmm. chemical imbalance to the drug, and it's taking like a normal person, a normal person. Yeah. Wake up, breakfast, lunch, dinner. Yeah, that that's your normal routine. Yeah. yeah, that's what it is. But yeah, I done, I done tried so many ways. And I even done some stuff that I regret. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I hit in the streets, you know, to try to get there. You feel like you was like, it's a good influence or was it just out of your own parents? You know, I would never that. If that's the case, I would have, man, I'd probably still be uh, trying to get it right. Nah, I would never be an influence. Yeah. I would never be uh, an I just, my, my thing was, I always wanted to run the streets and try to get some, some that other kind of money. Mm-hmm. You know, that was my thing. You know, I would never hear people, people we know, that would be in spots or traps and all that. You know, yeah. Yeah, I would lay in the back, smoking this and, you know, and fumes and everything. I ain't, you know, I would never, you know, I would never know even influence, you know. I would never crash nothing, you know, with the low garbage. Yeah, I always had my own mind and then I was taught don't do the crime, you can't do the time. So I be before I get into something go out and think about the time so Yeah. But then go do that by the hand jumping the boat. Yeah. Down, you know? um, so something from yesterday that my mom had to show me was that you had at the rodeo. Yeah. Tell me about that. How was that? That's a big ass crowd. Yeah, about 75,000 something. It was cool. It was cool. I was kind of pissed off uh, by doing it that year because uh, the year before, you know, I had the school up click. Yeah. And I wasn't on the car. I was like, hell, school up click and not me on the thing. Yeah. It makes it make sense. Hmm. Yeah, so when I got the car, I was like, you didn't tell Bun. But you got to do that one by yourself, and like, it was just. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Dancing Fest, it was epic. It was real. Yeah. I brought my, my family, I, my fiance, my mother. Yeah. You know, my cameraman. Mm-hmm. You know, like, I'm, like I said, I'm a, I'm a family person, and I'm a change, so I used to. Love the streets and love my partners. Yeah. Love Every time you see me, I got a, a hundred men, a hundred dudes. Yeah. None of them rap. None of them rap. Everybody on the stage. You know? Yeah. Super Bowl too. So uh, it was epic. I brought my back me, my mother, my baby, and my cameraman. We got suited and booted. Yeah. Out. yeah Everybody was in the car singing along the same songs. Oh, you were there. Nah, he showed me the video, oh, okay. and I yeah. see everybody, everybody was turning me on, honestly, like, I really get that, you know, it's just, he was like showing me some because I feel like he was like, real, real time, real time, real time, you know what I'm saying? Like, Man, what, what it, yeah, yeah, it can be. Yeah. See, but it's the, uh, it's the divide. Yeah, definitely. Like, they say SUC, I say SDC, so it's the divide of the cash. A lot of people hate when I say this, but well, got a problem, check it. So yeah. Talk to him, you got a number. Or speak on it. Or it's yeah. DC, though. You know, soldiers divided the cage. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Right. I don't understand. I don't understand. I ain't trying to understand. You know. Like, so I'm t- taking off now. You know. so yeah. I have to deal with it. See, one thing I know, man, like, a lot of these Houston rappers, they rap. That's it. You know, yeah. hey, I salute you, I promote that, you know, that's good, but man, something else they rap talking about, I say this. I don't understand. I, I, I ain't never could be broke and go and do an album. 
know, I salute him for that. You know, yeah. sitting there in the studio three, four months broke and waiting on the back end. You know, I, I could never do it. Yeah. I could never do it. Was that house and man, I got yeah. to, man. I can't sit still in no studio and work, 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 man, and I'm broke. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I got a key in this, and so, you know, I salute him, but it's just, it's the, the, the gatekeepers are the ones, you know, like this, everybody calling for a position, everybody still want to. Go oh, platinum. You know, we got people that ain't been platinum yet. Yeah, yeah. You know. like, I don't understand it, man. It's like, like I said, I get more love than now. You know, I touch down and now, man. It's, you know, I'm wearing so good. So people actually be like, they scream, like, yo, you're such a fresh, like, are you recognizing me? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Not as much now. You know, but yeah. I'm not good at those things. You go to the other. Yeah, I was a little kid, and now I got uh, war wounds and uh, <laughs> two grades. Yeah, man, it's uh. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah they always my head kicked me up. Ah, I have some. We're the last questions I'm gonna ask you before we wrap it up. Tell me about your upcoming projects. What should we expect? You should expect me to lock the city down again, man. Be the hottest, it. the hottest rapper out of Houston again, you know. Yeah. I, that ain't really my thing. I'm just trying to get, I'm catching up, I'm playing catch up myself. I ain't yeah. trying to beat nobody but myself. Right. You know, um, I got a, me and Al Crocker, we don't know what we're going to name it yet, but me and I said, me and old Croc, stay down. Croc, man, me and Al Crocker, my little bro, we got a me, a uh, project we're doing. Me and PG, the underboss. Got a mean project we're going to drop in the beginning of the year. Mm-hmm. This young star to a young man. Oh, yeah, I have seen that, you know, Instagram. I wanted to ask you about that. I mean, it's, it's kind of self explanatory, but would you, is that, is that something you just want to talk about in your music too? Yeah, that's me. Like I say, I'm yeah. him. Like, yeah. so, you know, from a young star to a young man, I would just say, yeah, uh, not Hollywood, but, you know, just the, the rapper, rapper. You know, yeah. the, the, you know, everybody, well, when they heard of you know, me as the uh, international rapper, or the, the one that's the whole, you know, the, the, the ace time rapper, you see that. Yeah. Now, um, Young Man is a rebirth, you know, like, and I'm a grandfather, I'm a parent, I'm a dog breeder, you know, I've got box truck, trucks and companies, you know, blue lobster, you know, uh, business that uh, me and my business partners they go free network, you know, he's he the starter of it. He had to go sit down so me and Pop Man involved, like I got businesses, you know, I yeah. got business ventures, I got a few of them on my sleeve now, you know, uh Dow Grooming, you know, like yeah, I'm like I converted my hustle. You know what I'm saying? It's it's not that that tone and that illegal hustle. It's yeah, right. you know, it's something for the community I know, you know. Huh? Too many ways to to to, to go to sleep and more than I woke up with. Yeah. 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 All right. So if you want to, you can shout out your social media. Let them know what's good. Follow you. Claim my own. My social media is Young Star Issue C. That's Young Star without the O. Issue C. I'll be on Young Star Issue C. My dog page, Boy Baby Kims. <laughs> I know that's where it is. Yeah, Boy Baby Kims. Yeah. Um, uh, man, it's Japanese, man. Yeah, like, I don't know. Beaches, uh, exactly. walkthroughs, like, you name it, man. I'm there. Dog, uh, breeding. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, you be the low, sitting up, up IT and something, you know, the box truck, whatever, man. Like, I'm, I'm an independent, uh, I'm a business, I'm a walking uh, billboard. Yeah. Walking yeah. billboard, you know. And I'm focused, like I said, I'm more focused than I ever been. And I take pride in everything that I put my name on. Right. Yeah. So, Young Star Issue, see, Boy Baby Kims, that's the social media. And I just tap in. Oh, yeah, I got to also, uh, later on, we're going to do uh, the, the Zaza Boys. You know, we're going to we're going after the hotel, Zaza, the Zaza boy, the 
I trap up, you know, quiet money, that, which you have to hear, you know, that, that can make some noise, just drop a project. Um, I trap up, get a drop a project, and you know, I will smoke things, and size our boys, you know, doing our own stream. You know, so, it's nothing to smoke, we smoke something from the project, but we looking for that size our boys. Uh, the Houston, you hear that, you know, that's up. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, well, thank you so much for giving us your time to sit here and talk about all the things that you did. For keeping it real, you know, being very genuine. Right on, right on. Thank you for having me. Of course. In the hot seat. Sir. Amy, in the hot seat, man.